I just want you to know that I know that you know that I can't see anything with these sunglasses on and this balaclava. It's fun, but it's cold. Eye protection matters. Welcome to the channel, and today we are going to give you exactly what you've been asking for, and that is it's more cabin. more dissipator, specifically the retro M16A1 dissipator. So for those who have not seen the original dissipator series, I'll go through the build real quickly. For the rest of you who have seen it, you can skip ahead to the timestamp somewhere in here. And uh, with that, this is a Colt M16A1 surplus parts kit that I put together. Um, the lower is a Palmetto. The furniture is the Brownells Retro Line new production surplus stuff, so it does not have the trap door in it, unfortunately. It's a military surplus sling. Now, the important stuff on this is the barrel. It is a Palmetto pencil barrel. It's a mid-length gas system with a 1 and 7 twist. I went with a mid-length gas system because there's a ton of datum on them. They're very reliable, soft recoiling. I like this system. I have the front sight post up here. There are some shims in here, and then it is just tacked into place to hold this. And then as far as the rest of it goes, it's surplus parts other than the trigger and the selector. Everything else on here is authentic surplus parts. I did put in a new spring. I put a new detent spring in the bolt, so rebuilt that underneath the extractor and basically replaced all of the critical wear parts um, that would need it, you know, just your basic maintenance. And that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple build. It is a 16-inch barrel, so it's a faux dissipator. But uh, all in all, I really like this gun. It's extremely lightweight. It's really fun to shoot, and it's accurate. You can't really ask more than that out of a rifle, in my opinion. So, I thought I'd give you guys an update on what's been going on with this rifle, and that is nothing. Nothing has changed with this. There's no reason to change it. It's been 100% reliable, still 100% reliable, shoots great, it's still my favorite AR-15 of all time. But, there's two questions that have to be answered today. The first one, no, I'm not trying to be like Risky Crisky or Admin Results. It is cold today. Really cold with wind chill. So, this is kind of nice to keep you warm. And yes, I have Chad sunglasses on, but it's all I had in the truck, and your prote eye protection is important. So, what's the second question you ask? Well, that is, can you improve upon perfection? And we're going to answer that today on Red Baron Reviews. Now, you might be asking yourself, how can you improve on such a perfect rifle? Well, I know, it's, it's hard to even find a starting point, but I think I may have found it. So, as most of you know, I'm about the size of a hobbit. And even an M16A1 stock is just a little bit too long. So I thought we'd put a retro collapsible stock on it and see how that fits and if it will in fact improve the perfect AR-15. So because of YouTube's stupid policies, I can't show you that process, but I can come right back with the results in three, two, one. All right, retro CAR-15 style collapsible stock. This is on a six position tube. I've got the, uh, the little rubber butt plate that gives you more surface area in the back just for gripping. And uh, really it's for looks. But uh, let's see, does this still retain its soft shooting characteristics and all that other good stuff? So uh, there's really only one way to answer that question. ignore those last two because I was definitely off the plate when I pulled the trigger but once you get going it's just so much fun here I'll try to redeem myself all right better quit while I'm ahead but uh yeah so I did notice switching from that rifle length stock that it does feel like there's maybe just a little bit more of a, a sharp uh recoil that's not even the right term like 
it's minute, but it's there enough that you kind of notice it in the front sight, like tracking it and trying to reset from that minimal recoil it already had. But all in all, no, it didn't really change much, except that it's more comfortable for me now. Uh, being short, you know, being able to collapse this thing down, that's the way to go. Now, does it look as cool? Well, yeah, I kind of like the looks of the full stock better, so that's what's going to go back on it. But it's still pretty sweet. Uh, you know, for what it is, this definitely adds some capability, especially if you're going to be running plates on a dissipator platform. So, uh, yeah, with that, guys, let's just dump some more rounds through it. You guys can sit back and enjoy. So guys, all in all, I'm really happy with this A1 Dissipator clone, but I am going to go back to the fixed stock because sometimes looks are just cooler, especially when it's a rifle that is not your go-to, you know, home defense. This is just a fun rifle to have, so fixed stock's going back on it. The only other thing I'm going to do is swap out this A1 Birdcage flash hider for the A2, which has a solid bottom across here and that just keeps debris and stuff like that from kicking up when you're in the prone only other thing after that is eventually i'll get around to seracoding it so it all looks battle worn and distressed and matches and the main reason for that is i'm starting to get to some corrosion uh, particularly on the metal parts some rust popping up those type of things and i do like the look i plan to keep that look but i want it to be better protected so thank you guys for watching be sure to check out my other videos click all the buttons all that good stuff and as always stay free